two objective of this lesson is to understand the average formula in Excel. So let's get to it. I'll go to this cell, I'll write equal, average, open parentheses, and then I have a set of parameters. So I have up to 255 parameters. That doesn't mean that you can only average 255 numbers because every number you see here could be a range. So for example, I can have this as a range. So that counts as one parameter. Okay, so now let's hard code something and let's say I want the average of two comma, which is, which means another parameters. And as you can see, this becomes dark three, close the parentheses, enter two and a half. Now you could do this with cells. So I'm going to say equal average, and then I'm going to select some cells. Let's say I select those six cells. Then I close the parentheses. I get 4.5 which is the average. Another way to see the average is that you can select the cells and then you can see here the average at the bottom. Now, this average will automatically adjust if you have different numbers. So for example, if this becomes nine, it automatically recalculates the answer. The other thing that I want to tell you is that assume that this is a blank cell. So when you have a blank cell, Excel counts this as nothing, or if you have text here, it counts as nothing. So for example, if I do average and then I select this four and this blank cell, I will get four. If this is blank, I'll get four. But if this is zero, it will count it. It will do four plus zero over two. So you have to be careful about this. The other thing you have to be careful about is the following. So let's assume that I come here and then I have this row that is hidden so i hide the row and then i come and i write equal average and i do the average of this now this is four fine but what if later on i open this and then i get some new data and i write 89 the average will automatically update and sometimes this is not what i want because i was counting on something assuming that this is not a cell that will have data so in order to solve this situation, you could do equal average, then you select the first set of numbers, then you do comma, and you select the second set of numbers, and then you get your four as an average. 